Welcome to yet another devlog episode of me complaining about the floating panel that I implemented doesn't work as well as it should. Why am I still milking this floating panel thingy? Because it's still giving me pain and uh, hours to the back. So what uh, I'm going to focus on right now, what I have focused on is to make sure that when you maximize a window, um, as an example, let me actually finish the animation with all the patterns. Thank you to all the patterns, by the way. But when you maximize a window, as you know, the floating panel defloats and expands to fit, uh, to fit the space. And like this, you see, like this, tuck, 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 it becomes bigger. And people have complained that it's too thick. Fine. <laughs> okay, originally it was supposed to be a, be a little thinner. It was supposed to move uh, down a bit and not expand uh, vertically, but it would still have been more thickness. Why did we change that? Well, basically the issue is if I have a thing like this <laughs> and another like this, well, these two windows are not detected as maximized. They're just one on the side of, um, you know, they're on the sides, which means that the floating panel doesn't actually, you know, become thicker. It's still floating. And you can see that there is a nice merging all around the panel like this. The only way to defloat it a bit thinner was to actually give up on this margin, which means that these two windows would have touched the margin, even though it was the float panel even though it was uh, still floating, which we decided was not good enough. So, 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 so. I decided to try to tackle the issue a different way. And what I'm trying to do is actually make it defloat without gaining any additional thickness, ju just going down, which is what most people request. And as much as it, <laughs> it is a fair request, there is a reason why I didn't even attempt to implement it the first time. And that is, it's a mess. It's a, me it's a mess. It's a mess. Why did I do this? Why, why? You convinced me to try this out and uh, I'm just wasting time. So le let me go through it. Firstly, my big issue is that uh, you see that it is working, maximizing a window that does work that now, but of course I don't develop on this system. I have a plasma shell that I built myself with all my testing changes, but I don't know why, I have no clue why, but when I turn that up, as I'm going to do now, sorry, uh, just a second. Well, it just doesn't work <laughs> for some reason. For some reason, when I maximize my window, it doesn't work. I, I don't know why. I, I don't know. It, maximized windows are not detected as ma maximized. And why should I even try to debug that? I, I'm trying to focus on something else entirely. So what I did, I just added a, a timer, as you can see, that maximized the panel and then demaximize it every few seconds. So I just can test this out. And as you can see, it's working. You might look at this and say, wow, you did it. I did it. Th that looks cool. It, it goes down it becomes opaque, it works. What's the issue? Well, let's try to maximize something. Well, what happens is <laughs> it kind of works in this case, but you can see that the application that is actually touching the panel resizes too, obviously, and it does not resize in a pretty way. Now, all applications actually resize um, slightly different. Let me pull up uh, like Dolphin as an example. This happens, that's bad. Like, I think we can agree that this doesn't look good. But there is to say that in theory, in theory, the defloating shouldn't, in theory, happen every few seconds as I have with it uh, with the timer, but it should happen when you maximize a window so like this. So what we could hope for is to make the animation fast enough that the length of the animation of the um, application you know, maximizing actually covers like hides the fact that this animation of the panel floating and the floating would mess with application. Because if they both happened at the same time, you don't notice that one is messed up. Th that's my hope. How can I, I mean, can't I just test it? And no, because for some reason my, Plasma setup cannot currently recognize whether a window is maximized or not, which is annoying. Thankfully, thankfully, I received a package. Let me actually bring that up. Okay, so I was I was saying, look at here, look at this 
literal computer. It's not literal, it's actually super pretty. This is the Kitty Slimbook and it was sent to me as a review unit by Slimbook. Thank you so much Slimbook, by the way. And of course I'm going to do a review of this device. And um, I am immediately <laughs> going to put it at work because this is a machine that is, for now, untouched by me, which means that it still works which means that I can try out my patch that for some reason doesn't work on that computer, but I can try it out if, whether it works on this computer. This computer should still work. So my current plan is to build KD Plasma on this Limbook, try out my patch on this Limbook, and decide whether it, it makes sense to even attempt something like that. Because, yeah, um, it has some flaws. It's not just about the animation. You also get this flow that um, if uh, you have like dolphin opened, wh why? Do Come on, this is this computer is so messed up. I don't even get the it crashed. Be beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, as I was <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, the fact that the panel moves down also means that the click targets are moving by a few pixels, sure, but they are moving. So in theory, that's already not too good of an approach, but I can understand that maybe the visual uh, benefit that you get from it, that is the panel not getting any thicker is worth it. So I'm trying that out. So if it works, we can discuss whether it should be on by default. And I need this one to try it out. If it doesn't work, I give up, honestly. <laughs> no, I, I can still um, try to make it a bit thinner, but it still has to get a bit thicker when you defloat it, that's necessary. Which brings me to the second question that I often get asked, and that is, can't you add an option to never defloat the panel? No, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But stop asking, please. I've already said I don't want to do that. And that is because it doesn't really fix anything, does it? I mean, um, Floating panels with a maximized uh, window out of the box lo look bad. They just look bad. Th this is not how it's supposed to look, like uh, like this. And uh, if the issue is that the panel thickens too much, then disabling the defloating entirely, not even by default, it's not a solution, it's a bad workaround. And it's also one more option to have in the UI, which in theory the panel should have been like a, a simple thing and now has a lot of options. I don't want that to, uh, that to happen. It's also one more code path to maintain. And again, the panel was supposed to be something simple and it's getting more complex by the version. So I don't want to make the panel any more complex. I just want to make it more simple. And the floating like this kind of work, kind of works. It adds some code, yes. Not too much though, so it's visible. We just have to hope that um, it works better than it looks. <laughs> and let me just end up by saying that I, I do all of this for like free, in my free time at least. So if you have like some spare cash to hand me, I've got a donations link and that would be super much very appreciated. And you get some special content, kind of. I'm restructuring that part of um, the channel. So thank you everybody. And I'm just gonna end this video by saying that, yes, uh, I'm very happy that this camera does green screen better. I've set up the lights better and it's more sharp and my face looks better than before, but I don't want to, do to every day I have to take this off. Uh, it's so annoying. You, you can live with, a bit of beer, like you can live with this. I, I don't look bad, right? I don't, right?